you have a handout which is labelled definitions and concepts. It contains some acronyms that you can look through. You don't have to remember them all, but if you want to look up, you can see some of the common ones we'll use. Some summary of units and prefixes. That is the symbols that we're going to use through the course about hertz, watts, seconds and so on. And prefixes like terra, giga, mega, micro, nano, pico. So you know all of these and if you don't then you'll take the online lesson. I think the first lesson just reminds you about units and prefixes. Logarithms, just a reminder of some properties of logarithms. When we looked at Shannon and Nyquist capacity, we saw that the log function was used there. So remember how to calculate logarithms. And especially we'll see in decibels and later, a lot of the measures that we used, uh, or the, the items we measure, are expressed on a logarithmic scale. So we take advantage of some of these properties, like the log of x times y is the same as the log of x plus the log of y. That is, the log of 20 is the same as the log of 2 plus the log of 10. And we'll use that property, especially with decibels, and some other properties are nice to look up and remember. What we want to do in the last uh, 15 or 20 minutes is to just introduce what we mean by dB, or decibels. With our signals, we've talked about signal strengths the amplitude, the height. So we've plotted the signals, say the sine waves, the signal strength is going up and down, it's varying. There are two uh, units to measure signal strength, volts or watts. So we think of it as a voltage or a power level. Uh, they, they're proportional to each other, volts and watts. Okay, We can convert between volts and watts when necessary. So a signal level we'll measure in volts or watts. I think from now on mainly we'll use uh, watts. So we'll talk about power level, or some uh, signal level with some power P. And commonly we'll talk about a ratio between two power levels. One power level is ten times another power level. And we saw that with Shannon capacity. We talked about signal to noise ratio ratio between two power levels. Decibels allow us to look at ratios but on a logarithmic scale. A ratio is just one number divided by another. Say one power level divided by another. D the dB form of that ratio is we take that ratio, take the logarithm in base 10 and multiply by 10. So remember this equation Let's go through some examples and see it in use. Some of them may be on the, the rest of that document, but we'll just calculate a few quick examples. Let's consider first our audio system, or a simple audio system. We have an amplifier. And an amplifier, what does it do? It increases the signal strength. So we can think we have some input power to an amplifier, P in, and what comes out is another signal with an output power. So say an audio amplifier. My signal goes in, it increases the signal strength, and the signal comes out. If we measure the power of the signal going in, We'll give it the power level P in and the power of the signal coming out, P out. Well, we can talk about the ratio of those two power values. How much bigger is the output than the input? (coughs) 
let's take an example where uh, what the power in is let's give it a value a simple value one watt one W one watt is the input power and we'll look at how good our amplifier is when we have different output powers and talk about some characteristics of that amplifier. Let's say in the first example the output power is and measured in watts actually we'll write it the output power is one watt. I've got an amplifier. I send a signal in with power one watt. What comes out is one watt. Is it a good amplifier? Is it amplifying? No, it's not changing the strength of the signal. An amplifier would expect to increase the strength of the signal. Okay. All right, not a good amplifier. What's the ratio of the output to the input signal? How much bigger is the output than the input? Well, we can give that a name. We can talk about there's a gain. I'll denote as G. The gain of that amplifier can be calculated as the output power divided by the input power. How much does this amplifier amplify our signal? Well, if we calculate that, it, in this case it's 1 watt divided by 1 watt gives us a gain of 1. Note that there are no units here. 1 watt divided by 1 watt, the watts cancel each other out. There are no units left. It's just a gain of 1. You can think of it as a multiplier. 1 times. The output is 1 times that of the input. This gain we've expressed as an absolute multiplier here. We can also exp express it in a logarithmic scale, and that's what we do when we use decibels. The gain in dB that same gain we can write as in decibels. And the general equation is 10 log base 10 of the gain of the absolute value or in detail the output divided by the input. So in this case the gain is one times. The output is one times the input. It's not really a, a, a gain in this. They're the same. But if this value is one, log of one is what? In base 10, what's log of 1? 0. Okay. Ten, to the, 10 to the power of 0 is 1, so the log of 1 is 0. 0 times 10 gives us 0. So we say that the gain is 0 dB, 0 decibels. So here we're just using decibels as another way to measure the gain. These are the same value. 1 and 0 dB are identical. But they're just using different scales. One is the absolute scale, it's just a multiplier. One is on a logarithmic scale. Why would we do that? We'll see through some other examples. It's sometimes easier to work on the logarithmic scale to do some operations, we'll see. But let's try for some be better amplifiers. What if my amplifier still takes an input of 1 watt? What if it outputs 2 watts? Well, the gain, 2 divided by 1 is 2. That's easy. What's the gain in dB? Calculate it. You'll need your calculator for this one, unless you can remember it. If the gain is a factor of 2, that is, the output is two times stronger than the input. 
What's the equivalent gain in decibels? Calculate on your calculator. Log of in base 10 of 2 is 0 0.3 something something something. Okay? You, you try it on your calculator. It's about 0 0.3. Log of 2 is about 0 0.30 something. So log of 2, 0 0.3 times by 10, and you get about 3. 3.0 3 something something. All right? But I approximate here about 3 dB. So log of 2 is 0.3 times by 10, we get 3 dB. What does this mean? Our amplifier has a gain of 2. The output is 2 times the input. Or the amplifier has a gain of 3 dB. It's just another measure of that gain, 3 decibels. Let's try a few other values. Well, let's double the output power, effectively double the gain. If my amplifier, I buy a different one, it takes one watt in, four watts out, it has a gain of a factor of four. Calculate the equivalent gain in decibels. Log of four times by ten. log of 4, 0.60205, 6.02 dB, about 6 dB. What if we had a better amplifier? double the gain. It produced 8 watts output, a gain of 8. In dB, what do we get? Nine dB. This is a nice thing to remember that if you remember a gain of 2, which is something we'll commonly talk about, double or half. A gain of 2 means we double something. Then it's equivalent to about 3 dB. One of the properties of logarithms, 4 is 2 times 2. The log of 2 times 2 is the same as the log of 2 plus the log of 2. Log of 2 is 3, if we multiply by 10, uh, plus another 3 dB, we get our 6 dB. So in fact, when we double, we just add 3 dB. 16 would be 12 dB. But let's try some other values. Ten watts out, a gain of ten, log. Log of ten is one, times by ten we get ten dB. Let's jump up a bit. We have one watt in and jump up to 100 watts out. A gain of 100. How many dB? A gain of 10 is 10 dB. 100 is 10 times 10. Using a logarithmic scale, we'd get 10 dB plus another 10 dB, we get 20 dB. You can check with your calculator, of course, well, no, you don't need your calculator here. Log of 100 is 2 times by 10. But that property of the logarithm can be useful. We'll see another one in a moment. 20 dB. Two hundred watts. 
a multiplier of 200. How many dB? 100 is 20 dB. We double that, a factor, another factor of 2, so we add 3 dB, 23 dB. There's a shortcut, just the properties of logarithms. We know 100 is 20 dB. If we multiply 100 by 2, we get 200. But because we're doing the log of these values, the log of 100 times 2, and then all multiplied by 10, is the same as 20 dB plus 3 dB. We get 23 dB. Now, you don't need to use that shortcut. You can use your calculator. In my exams, you can always have a calculator. But sometimes when you start to deal with dB a lot, it's nice to remember some shortcuts. You can quickly approximate. A thousand watts. Of 30 dB. Log of a thousand is three. One more. One million watts. How many dB? Um, How many zeros? Six. Log of a million is six. Sixty dB. And another reason why we often use dB when we have very big values in decibels, they're manageable n numbers. Sixty dB. Easier to write, easier to do operations on, as opposed to a number with six zeros on it a billion and so on is just 90 dB. And in, in communication systems often we have multiple stages, an amplifier, uh, another amplifier, and adding in dB is often easier than multiplying large numbers. So remember how to calculate decibels. Last thing, last two minutes, a couple more examples. Remember our input was 1 watt, what if the output was 0 0.1 watt? What's the gain? Well, 0 0.1 divided by 1, 0 0.1. Is it a gain? Not really. Input is 1, output is lower. We've gone down, but still, it's a value. So log of 0 0.1 is minus 1 times by 10, we get minus 10 dB. This amplifier has a gain of minus 10 dB, or it has a loss. The loss is the inverse of the gain. The input power divided by the output power. The loss is a factor of 10. The output is 10 times smaller than the input. Convert to dB, a factor of 10 is 10 dB. The purple value is the gain. The green value, for those that at the back, the green value is loss. A gain of 0 0.1, it goes it's, the output is 0 0.1 times the input, is the same as saying the output is 10 times smaller than the input, a loss of 10, a factor of 10. And converted to dB, you'll see that the, the negative, we've swapped the sign, minus 10 dB is the same as 10 dB. So we can talk about gain and loss. These are the same. Same value, One, we can say our amplifier has a gain of minus 10 dB or we could say it has a loss of 10 dB. And that's a good place to, to leave you. We'll use dB in some of the, the following lectures, so remember that equation and how to do the conversion. Okay.